hello guys so what we're going to do right now is to give you a demo on how to configure DHCP on a Cisco router now the question is why do we need to configure DHCP or why do we need to use DHCP now imagine if you have 10 20 or 30 computers or more connected to the switch and you're not using DHCP then you need to put the IP address manually now with the DHCP a protocol it will hand out IP address automatically or dynamically to our clients so once you plug a new computer it will grab a new IP and then it will be up and running so here in our diagram you can see I have three computers that are representing computers connected to the switch and I have a console cable connected to the router to configure this one now these are the requirements we need to configure with the router with a network of 10.10.10.0 with a subnet mask of 24 and uh, a requirement of the default gateway should be 10.10.10.10 and a DNS of 8.8.8 .8 which is your Google public DNS so I'll start by clicking into this PC and going to desktop and then start with the terminal okay so I'm inside the router right now to to make this tutorial faster i will not configure this one with a basic configuration like the password enable password so let's go uh, dive into the dhcp configuration so enable con conf t and then the first thing we need to do is put a name we need to create a name of the dhcp server so ip dhcp pool the name of the pool let's put a question mark out there and then uh, you can see there uh, what's the name it's uh, we have a hint there saying what would be the name of the pool so the pool would be uh, LAN let's put LAN DHCP okay and then we can put a question mark and then we're good to go so out here so that we will have a guide on what we're going to configure next we're going to configure the network the DNS server and then the default router okay so the default router would be our default gateway the dns server we can use the uh, router itself however the requirement is the dns server of google and then we have the network so we can start by here network so what is the network we're going to use the network we're going to use is this one okay so this is a network 10.10.10.0 slash 24 so we're going to put it 10 that 10 that 10 that 0 that's the network and what would be our subnet mask that will be 255 that 255 that 255 that 0 question mark to make sure okay that's good and the next one we need to do is the default router so we're going to tell the uh, DHCP pool what would be the default router default router would be 10 that 10 that 10 that 10 okay let's make sure question mark okay we're good to go and then uh dns server dns all right dash server question mark okay what would be the dns server at eight that eight that eight that eight okay question mark mm -hmm. okay enter okay that's it and then the next thing we need to do is uh we need to exclude ip addresses uh uh ip dhcp excluded address what's the use of the excluded address now i'm going to move this one now for us to uh we should tell the router what are the ip addresses that we are not going to give out since they are going to be used so this is to avoid ip con conflict with other devices so for example this default gateway 10.10.10 we need to make sure that the dhcp server will not be giving this ip to our clients that's the use of our excluded ip address so we're going to exclude a one uh, ten that ten that ten that one we can start with one since it says low ip so we're going to exclude a range of ip and then question mark what would be the high ip so uh the the ios is uh actually cisco iOS is actually asking us the lower ip and the higher ip which means the range this is asking for the range so 10 that 10 that 10 that 10 so we're basically uh, telling the router to exclude the ip address from 10.10.10.1 10 10 10 to 10.10.10.10 10 10 10 10 so that we can avoid the 
uh, DHCP config. Or if you only want one IP address to be excluded, then you can only put one. Okay, so I'll just enter that one and then I can go in. Um, this it. Okay, the next thing we forgot to do here is we, we were not able to configure the interface. So uh, we need to put the IP address here 10.10.10.10 uh, in this port and then we are going to uh, enable that one since it's going red so it means it's not enabled or it's still shut down conf t so I'm going to say uh, interface uh, gig 0 slash 1 uh, IP address would be uh, 10.10.10.10 and then the submit mask would be 255.255.255.0 then question mark okay it's good to go and then we're going to say no shop to enable that one so by the time this is already enabled we can uh, minimize this one we can see it's turning green the other one is uh, still negotiating it should turn turn green also while waiting for this one to turn green we can go here to our uh, computer uh, close this one we go to IP configuration and you can see this one it's in static mode we're going to press the ATP and it should st start to get IP address it's actually requesting for an IP address so you can see there uh, it cannot grab an IP it says uh, 169 so that's actually a pipa uh, let's do it again to make sure oh there you go the first one was uh, I think uh, the the negotiation here was stacked up so we are not able to get the IP address automatically a while back now when we did a like kind of refresh that one we were able to grab so actually the first IP it took was 11 because we excluded 10.10.10 .10 .10 .10, and you can see it here so we can also try to ping this IP address to make sure okay so we go here um, desktop close this one go to uh, and then ping 10 that 10 that 10 that 10 okay so we have actually a reply okay we'll go to the next PC and try this one also desktop and then go to your IP configuration the HEP. this should grab okay you can see it actually took the IP address again and to make sure that we are connected to the same network with the other one we can ping the first IP that the first PC took ping 10 the 10 the 10 the 11 okay there you go so we are actually pinging this one and then at the same time we can try to do this one also and then it should took the one that's 13 okay we're good to go another thing we can do here is to verify our configuration on the router itself so let's go back to the terminal and then go back here and we'll say um, uh, enable show run we can check it here you can see the ip the HTTP excluded address this is the one we configured earlier and then this is the ip the HTTP pool configuration that we had lan the HTTP, the network the default router and the dns and at the same time you can see the uh interface we have here so that's that's how to verify your configuration and uh hopefully sooner um or probably you have learned something from this Watch out for more uh, tutorial to come. Bye-bye.